Recently, one phrase has suddenly become popular among young people in China: lying flat. And this is what it looks like. What is lying flat? It means not working, not buying a house, not spending, not getting married or having children, not pursuing any career, reducing personal desires, and spending the minimum to survive. Lying flat does not mean not working at all, but more like working one or two months a year. When one earns enough, one stops working for the rest of the year. It's a new attitude and way of life among young people who refuse to be money-making machines or a slave to money. They actively lower their desires for life. This young man is known as the master of lying flat. The phrase "lying flat" originates from his article "Lying Flat Is Justice," in which he declares, "Lying flat is me being wise. Only when lying flat, human beings are the measure of all things." His daily routine is to lie flat. Eat only two meals a day and work occasionally. For example, he goes to Hengdian, a movie city in China, to work as a crowd actor for one or two months a year. On the movie set, he lies flat, playing dead bodies. His doctrine of lying flat immediately gained a following of young people who gained a different kind of hope from it. On a popular Chinese forum, Duban, a lying flat group was quickly formed. Within a few weeks, nearly 10,000 people joined. They enthusiastically envisioned the benefits of lying flat. For example, one remarked, "As long as I lie flat fast enough, the involution can't catch up with me." Involution is a new buzzword on the Chinese internet nowadays, referring to excessive competition in a field. Another comment says, "If I lie flat, the skith won't be able to cut me." More and more Chinese people have started to compare themselves to Chinese chives, which are harvested time and again by the upper echelons of the totalitarian system, leaving little for themselves. A senior Chinese journalist posted on Weibo that line flatism is a non-violent and non-cooperative movement of the chives, and it's also the most silent and helpless action. One user observed. Lying flat is the manifestation of a person's extreme disappointment in the future, in life's outlook, and desperation for social justice. The sudden popularity of the term "lying flat" reflects the total dismay of the young generation in China about their future and social conditions. A resident of Shanghai posted online that he and his wife have been lying flat since 2014. They have their own house, but no loan, no car, and no work. The couple only spends twenty thousand yuan a year. He said, "We do not interact with anyone but our parents to save money. We do not plan to have children either." Someone left a scathing reply. This is only to survive. It is not a life. The man responded, "Maybe your life is not better off than my survival." A woman has done a rough calculation of the cost of living in China. It takes roughly three thousand fifty yuan a month to hold a job. In 810 yuan to lie flat at home, lying flat costs only a quarter of what it takes to hold a job. The woman concluded she would lie flat as soon as she has the 810 yuan survival cost. On May 28, 2020, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said at a press conference of the two sessions of the National People's Congress that 600 million people in China have a monthly income of only 1,000 yuan. Some Chinese remarked. Social classes in China are becoming more cemented. The gap between classes is getting bigger, and the gap between the rich and the poor is getting wider. 600 million people are earning less than 1,000 yuan a month, resulting in more and more people having to restrain their desires by lying flat. Some commented, "No matter how hard you work, you can't become affluent. You're just a tool for others to use, and when the tool is broken, it's just thrown away." Mr. Xu, a legal professional in mainland China, told overseas Chinese media that the Chinese people are still hardworking in comparison. But when you put in efforts without reaping the rewards, there is bound to be resistance, whether it is aggressive or passive. An Indian person commented, "Interestingly, this is very much like Gandhi's successful non-cooperation movement against British colonial rule." In a normal society, it is common for everyone to have different attitudes towards society and choose their lifestyle. For example, in the Oscar-winning movie *Nomadland*, the female protagonist is a lying flat type of person. Following her husband's death, she left her home and traveled around. 
She did not work, did not get married, did not settle down, and lived a simple and free life. It's not that she couldn't find a job. She worked at Amazon for two months and was able to pay back the $5,000 repair cost for her vehicle. She continued to travel after paying off the money. She does not want to be a slave to money and work, but prefers a simple way to live. However, the Chinese Communist Party has severely criticized line flatism. The Central Committee of the Communist Youth League posted an article on its Weibo account entitled, Modern Young People Have Never Chosen to Lie Flat. The Chinese media, The Daily South, published an article, Where is the Sense of Justice When Lying Down is Shameful? It condemned lying flat as harmful and a toxic chicken soup. The official media, Xinhua News Agency, reprinted this article later. The Hubei Provincial Television Station, where the city of Wuhan is, chimed in by saying, It is okay to resign oneself to life, but it is not okay to lie flat. The headline sounded like a threat, as if saying, Yes, it's true that this society is unfair. You can take it or leave it, but don't lie flat and do no work. Another major official newspaper, Guangming Daily, published an article saying that lying flat is detrimental to economic and societal development. The current economic development of our country faces many challenges such as an aging population. The goal of achieving quality development cannot be realized without the creative contribution of youth. At the end of May, the lying flat group on the Doban platform was shut down. The users lamented, we can't even lie flat. Must we be forced to work 996007 as chives? 996 refers to working hours from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. 007 refers to 24-hour on-call work from 0 a.m. to 0 p.m. seven days a week. 996007 work system was proposed by the renowned Chinese entrepreneur Jack Ma. It is obvious the line flat doctrine has made the Chinese Communist Party feel uneasy and embarrassed. In the past few years, China's economy has been on a downward spiral. Inflation has been severe. The unemployment rate of young people remains high. Many young people have become slaves to their houses, credit cards, or chives waiting to be harvested. If young people don't have children, they won't be burdened with children's high education and living costs. But if they don't get married and buy houses, China's real estate market will be stagnant. The reality remains that it's challenging to lie flat in China due to the lack of social welfare mechanisms. The majority of people can't survive without working or working little. Moreover, the formidable public opinion also brings mounting pressure. As a result, the resistance embodied in lying flat is unlikely to change much of the current society. However, it signals some form of awakening. When the Chinese people are facing the omnipresent direction and control of the CCP, ranging from daily life, behavior, and even people's thoughts, the chives have gradually awakened. That awakening would eventually lead to hope.